Hey y'all, Grandma Rose here. I'm up to it again. Um, let me show you what I've got. Let me show you what I have here. Do you recognize this? Well, you probably do. It's a broken fly swatter. It's a fly swatter, y'all. But anyway, it broke it broke in half, or it split, you know, about halfway, and I repaired it with this aluminum tape that I've got that I use for my plant my plant labels. And it worked pretty well until yesterday. Then yesterday I was uh, swatting some flies, as one does, and the whole thing broke. So today I had to go to the dollar store to pick up some things, and I had this on my list of things to get. And I looked, and I didn't look hard enough, obviously, because I couldn't find it. I did find some other cleaning supplies, similar, but I didn't ever find the brooms and the mops, and didn't find, find a fly swatter. Well, I'm not going back. Not for, a, not for a fly swatter, and I'll get one the next time I'm in town, if this doesn't work. But I have a feeling that it is, so let me show you what I'm doing. I got to thinking. People make wallets out of um, out of duct tape. You've seen them. I've seen them anyway. I don't know if you've seen them or not. But I've seen wallets and things made out of duct tape. And I got to thinking, well, I have duct tape. I wonder if I can make a fly swatter out of duct tape. Use this wire and just take this part off of it, or even leave this part on it, for, for that matter, and make a fly swatter. So that's what I'm doing. I've already started. I, I've done half of it approximately, and I got to thinking, well, maybe you'd like to see what I'm doing because this is kind of a silly thing. What does a fly, fly swatter cost? A dollar? Maybe? Two dollars at the most? Anyway, so what I've done so far, I have double, double duct tape. I've got silver duct tape here. And I have a roll of, of black duct tape. Now, I was able to get three strips of this out of one width of the duct tape. I don't know if you can see that. So what I'm going to do, instead of folding it in half, I'm going to take two pieces of this. There's one piece. And cut that in half. Okay. Take another piece, about the same. I know I'm off screen here, I'm sorry. But I have to hold it close to me to pull it. Trying to line this up right. Get it get it lined up. So really sticky when they come together. And they have to trim that off a little bit on the edge. But there we go. So there's a double layer of duct tape. A layer of duct tape, I'm gonna cut this in half. I eyeball it. Doesn't have to be exactly right. But what I'm gonna end up with is six strips. Fold it in thirds kind of and get an idea. So there's where the first first cut should be here. But here comes the fun part. Take these and line them up. Let's see. That's a little one. So there we go. We get the two in the the two longest ones in the middle, sort of, because this is this angles. You see, there's an angle to it. And I will cut this down, but I'm just going to line this up like this, and I'm going to weave. So we'll, whoops, take it apart and just in and out. Like you do in a pie crust. Like a pie crust for an apple pie. Put that on there. I think that's going to be, I think maybe one more. 
I'm thinking maybe one or even two more. So it may be perfect. I'll, I can just cut it to size after it's done. It does not have to be perfect. And it's definitely not going to be perfect. But good heavens, you could be swatting insects with it. It does not have to be perfect. Bug guts on it. Come on. And I'll do one more, and I should have approximately a square here in the middle. The next thing I'm going to do, I think, what width do I need? Now, that's about right, because what we'll end up doing was be cutting off the edge here. And so probably down to... I may even need one more, one more strip of the silver, I'm thinking. To get the right length, well, I've got a strip of silver right here. Here's this little strip. That might work. I think I've got that. So what the next thing I think I'm going to do then is I'm going to take the duct tape. I'm thinking as I go. So I think what I need to do is take half a strip of duct tape, cut it in half lengthwise. I know what I'm going to use. I'm going to use scotch tape. This actually is scotch tape. So I'm just going to, I'm going to lay this across the top here and hope that will hold this in place. I don't think I even need one at the top. So what I'm going to do is cut this off even at the top. Or relatively even. Yeah, I think I do need a piece of tape on that. Hold that down. Okay, now I'm just gonna take this and just cut this off even along the top here. And the same thing on the sides. Cut That's gonna work. I think I can come down to here about like so. Hold it in place. No markers needed. Cut that at an angle, like that. Cut the other one at an angle, like that. Yeah. And cut this off about here, right at the level of that tape right there. <laughs> That's going to work. Kind of round those edges a little bit. Like that. So now what I'm going to do is just put across here, about halfway over. I'm a, this is the top. And you know what? I've got this tape on here. I need to take that tape off first. And I'm doing it as an experiment. Now the thing is, is I need to attach this to this wire. And I should be able to use the duct tape to attach that to the wire. I think it should. If it doesn't, I can go to the store and I can buy a fly swatter. So there's my broken fly swatter. And I bet you, if I take this and just cut it across like that, that wire is really in there. It's very, very sturdy. So what I think I can do is take this like that. 
and I can just tape it right at, sh well, you know, I taped the other one and it broke. This is not breaking. That is not going to break. I can guarantee you that. So let me do that. Take just the width of it, I think. Just a little bit of it. How wide is this right in here? Is that the right width? About like that. We can take this up here about like so. I want it, I want it level. I want it to look nice. So we're gonna do, I'm going to do it level with this right in here. Just like that. Then I'm going to flip this over. It's a little bit too wide. Just cut it in a little. The idea, what I'm trying to do here is to bring this in to the other side. So this is just a tad bit too wide. What I want is this width right here. Now, put that on here like, like that. Put it up through here that way, like that. Grab hold of it. It's not going to stick to it. It's sticking to it, but not too bad. Not sticking too badly. Now bring that in there like that and flip it over. And it's actually sticking back to there. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the sides here. But you know, I think I might do the whole the whole width of it this time. Fold it in half this way, it's not going to stick. Just cut it off in the middle. Tear off that last little bit of it. Stick that on there. Now, you can always, always trim it off, which is what I'll be doing. So I'm just taking it off here, sticking it right where it was before. And I'm going to flip it over this way. There. A crease in it, but I don't care. Now from here, same thing we did before. I'm just going to trim that off like that. Trim it off all the way. Same thing on the other side. Trim that off. And guys, I have a new fly swatter. cool is that? I just made a fly swatter. How about that? Bye y'all. See you next time.